Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Social Success Factor. I'm your host, Amar Sheth, and today I'm very pleased to bring you Yella Danunen. Did I pronounce that correctly? Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, well, Yella is a account executive with Bullhorn. Bullhorn is one of the most premier software SaaS providers for the staffing and recruiting space. And um, he contacted me and we had a chance to talk about how he's using social selling to really make a big impact for his, not just his numbers, but his entire daily sales routine. So Yellow, without further ado, welcome to the show. And please tell thank us you. a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. Uh, indeed, I'm a, a sales executive at Bullhorn. Um, I'm covering the mainland of Europe of, uh, for Bullhorn, setting up that uh, part of the industry. Um, for us, um, I've been recruited for my, uh, myself um, about five years ago before I joined Bullhorn, and I've been in social uh, for quite some time. I think it started um, at the age of 15. Uh, to be honest, I was organizing parties, um, and I actually I was you know building a brand, building a network. Uh, I was using that already um, to be more successful. So in that time, of course, we didn't have LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. But I actually used Amazon Messenger to to build my reach, my exp expand my network, um, to make sure that I had enough people attending the uh, parties that I organized. So you got into this uh, way back in the day before social media was even called social media. So yeah, absolutely. Now you you make an interesting statement about expanding your reach and expanding your network. So yeah. why is it that why is that important to you today? Why is it so important that you grow your, you know, let's use LinkedIn terms here. Why is it important that you grow your first degree connection base? Um, because I see social media as a great tool uh, to start building relationships. Um, I'm a very big believer of that. Social selling uh, only starts with social media. Uh, from that moment on, the rest of the relationship that you will maintain is built on that first start that is based from social media. So you have to be social throughout the rest of the process. And LinkedIn, of course, is a very easy network that you can use to build your business relationships because you can find out basically everything of what they do on the day-to-day -day business that you can use in your conversations with them. So tell me about some of your successes and some and if you're able to share numbers that's wonderful but if you're able to tell the audience a little bit about your success that would be great yeah sure no problem um, so I've been using social media for quite some while now and um, I actually have a fun fact to start with first I actually you uh, um, have received um, an official warning for working at a, a very big staffing firm in the Netherlands when I was using LinkedIn on my day-to-day -day basis in the summer of 2009 um, today and already for two years it's it's a required part of the day at that specific company so it's pretty funny that it, you know, I was an early adopter to that um, so I've, I've been using LinkedIn and another social media for my recruitment experience for uh, a couple of years now and at some point, and I would say that the last two years before I joined Bullhorn, I worked at a company that I had to um, build a new brand. Um, it was uh, in the payroll staffing, and there were basically like 10 agencies in that specific niche. Um, it was acquired by new companies set up, uh, set up with a new name, so we had to build our brand and of course get some you know vacancies into uh, the pipeline so I used uh, LinkedIn mostly but also Twitter a lot um, to build that brand and eventually that led into two years in a row 300 appointments combining social selling mostly from social media um, cold calling but mostly you know also built because of the relationship that we had via LinkedIn for example um, and that led into 700k in revenue in the second year, and becoming the basically in the top five of those uh, agencies that are in the staffing market uh, wow. for the payroll industry in the Netherlands. Yeah. So you basically use social media to catapult yourself uh, into from being in the top ten to just being in the top five within 24 months, and you made some great money in the meantime. 700k is no laughing matter. In margins. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, I, I used, you know, the. Um, I mean, I've been in cold calling for quite some time, and I, I actually, I'm one of the crazy people that actually like to do it. Um, but I did so many cold calling. I was like thinking, how can I do that easier? And using social media or the the links that you have with one another uh, on social media, uh, you can use it to make a call less call uh, a call less less cold. Basically, right. that's how I think about it. Make the call less cold. Uh, that's that's a nice yeah. phrase. I like it. Yeah. Um, and in your present day at Bullhorn Yella, talk to me about some of your successes. Yeah, so um, I finished number one at Bullhorn International um, with a score over 200% on quota. Wow. And I also use social selling to do that, of course. That's, that's fantastic. So I you're using that, LinkedIn and Twitter to supercharge your growth? Absolutely, but you know it doesn't only start with social media, but it's, it's you know also social events. I mean, I, I know my network via social, but I also connect with them on events a lot, um, and I think that's very important in social selling today. That you have to start engaging people on social media, but you have to take it to the next step and connecting them offline and continuing that line that you set with them on social media, and it actually helped me. Um, for example, I've, I've hosted uh, a local recruitment uh, poker tournament in uh, February this year, and only 50 people were attending, but I've got a, a pretty sized good deal out of that and already signed three deals just by attending that, and all those 50 people know each other by Twitter. Wow, so you basically started the conversation on Twitter. The whole concept was fueled by Twitter. But then you translated that into an offline event. You network yep. like a salesperson is supposed to do. That's a part of our job. And you converted mm -hmm. that into a sales opportunity. Yeah, a couple already. That's fantastic. So Yella, what's yeah. your what's your advice on what's your advice to salespeople that are afraid or a little slow or just um, not quite sure if social selling or social media is for them? as a part of their day-to-day -day sales life. What, what do you have to say to them? First of all, I think that it's very important to know that social selling can make your job easier. I can see myself being uh, more effective, getting more results using social selling than just cold calling and such. Um, I would have to say that I do less cold calling. I do less calling at all. but receive more revenue from it um, just by being more effective because you're you're using warm relationships and I think that one of the best examples I can give you I mean think about it um, when you're calling a CEO of a certain company um, you know you have to get through the receptionist blah 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 and you know all the hurdles we all know um, but actually they're on Twitter talking about their soccer practice this weekend or that they're going training for a running competition or whatsoever they're talking because they're talking on Twitter like they're a normal person mostly. Yeah. Um, and it's easier to connect with that because the the, um, the step of having a conversation around soccer or football in America of course um, and, and something like that is so much easier to do on Twitter opposed to giving them a call and just start talking yeah I want to sell you something they're busy. They don't want to buy you something that they don't need. So Absolutely. you know, it's a really stupid example, but I I go to burger joints a lot. So I'm very no, uh, known for going to McDonald's and Burger King. But I can actually have a very easygoing conversation around 50 minutes about you know burgers and traveling because I like to show a lot that you know I'm living life. So it doesn't only exist out of you know eating burgers, but going to Vegas going on holiday trips, doing hiking, skiing, all kinds of things. And actually, I, I start to have a conversation a lot about that because people see that from me. So they don't start a conversation with me um, because I'm working at Bullhorn and I'm a sales representative, but because they see that I'm enjoying a life. And people like to see um, that pe other people are enjoying life. So basically what I'm trying to say is show the personal side of yourself and use that to get into business with other people and um, you can connect with them right. use show it you know connecting with their personal part as well as the other way around show the personal side of yourself 
people like to be able to buy from people. Yeah, so absolutely. Show that. And, and, yeah. and what you're talking about has always existed in sales. We've always tried to, you know, when I got into sales nearly 15 years ago, it was the same advice that I had received, which was people buy from people they like. They need to get to know you first. You need to establish rapport. You need to show them that you're personable, etc. But there's never been a medium to deliver that, right? Because cold calling so can't it's deliver actually, that. actually, it became easier for us. Exactly. Social media is basically just blown away all the barriers and it's making it completely easy for us. Any any parting yeah. words from you, my friend? Sorry? Any parting words? Any last words from you? Any advice? Any um, motivation? Go for it. Well said. Just go for it. Well said. I like it. Yala, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. For the audience, I want you to think about what Yella has done. Top rep in his company last year, over 200% of quota, uses social selling, and has gone on record and said it's easier than cold calling. So consider that. Take it to heart. Ultimately, social selling is for all of us to use. Yella, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate it, and have yourself a great day. Thank you. Good luck, everyone.